water has always been the driving force on the peninsula once known as La Florida. Native Americans built villages on the banks of rivers, lakes, and springs. Water provided food, quenched their thirst, and created aquatic highways for transportation. And it set the pace for today's water-driven lifestyle and economy. People come here to enjoy our climate and to enjoy our water bodies, whether they're springs, lakes, rivers, streams, the ocean. If we don't have good, clear, wonderful, healthy water to, to enjoy, uh, not just for the life force, but for recreation and for our, our industries, um, we, we've lost it. I mean, again, Florida is all about water. Lake County has been particularly blessed in this way. With nearly 2,000 water bodies, it historically supported rich populations of birds, reptiles, and mammals that rely on healthy bounties of fish. Early settlers found it attractive for these same reasons. To augment hunting and fishing, they began to plant groves and crops. Fed by groundwater and rainfall, the Harris chain of lakes and its headwaters of Lake Apopka were clear and sandy bottomed with vast beds of eelgrass. It was a huge tourist destination. People would come from all over the U.S. and, and the South just to fish Lake Apopka and catch bass or particularly bass. I had stories of people using rowboats just to row out to a hole in the vegetation. They would see the bass that they wanted to catch and put a shiner in front of its nose and catch that particular fish. Obviously that implied that the water was very clear. Once the healthy Harris chain of lakes were connected with canals, steamboats could export produce and import tourists using the Ocklawaha and St. John's River to the north. But the canals had other impacts as well. Behind me is the uh, Lake Apopka Lock and Dam. It's on the Apopka Beauclair Canal, which was a canal dug in the late 1880s that connects Lake Apopka and Lake Beauclair. Uh, the effect of the canal was to lower the average water level in Lake Apopka by about four feet. Nearly 20,000 acres of the lake were lost to drainage reducing its size by 40%, and allowing its rich bottomlands or wetlands to the north to be farmed. To a large extent, Lake Apopka and the Harris Chain of Lakes are part of systems that degraded over time because of uh, primarily agricultural discharges coming into the lakes, uh, nutrients coming in, changing the whole character of the lake from clear water Habitat, nice habitat to uh, algae-dominated lake systems. Beginning in the 1980s through the 1990s, the state bought the farmland around the lake, located in the historical wetlands. It began a painstaking restoration by first recreating wetlands to naturally filter and clean water. But even with the recreated marsh, the load of nutrients flowing out of Lake Apopka into the rest of the Harris chain was still significant. The contrast between polluted waterways and the historically clean ones was striking. My grandmother's grandfather came here in 1887 to Mount Dora. Um, my mother was born here, and our family has boated on these lakes for our, our whole life. Whenever I was a kid, we could go to Lake Apopka and catch a, probably a hundred specks in a matter of about an hour, hour and a half. Everly and fellow Lake County Water Authority board members knew decisive action was needed. With support from both the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and the St. John's River Water Management District, the Lake County Water Authority launched an ambitious $7.6 million project in March 2009. It was called NERF nutrient reduction facility. We've worked diligently on stormwater runoff, on things like that, but stormwater runoff, you're not getting the bang for your buck like you are in uh, the NERF. It's an offline alum injection plant that clarifies the water, strips out the phosphorus, even uh, gets some of the dissolved phosphorus. The alum injection was the easiest way to achieve, not always the cheapest way, to achieve what we wanted to do so that algae wouldn't, wouldn't bloom 
and uh, to clarify the water so that we could promote good plant growth. We achieve about 70 uh, percent reduction in phosphorus, which uh, brings clear water. And we have seen measurable differences all the way from the canal, all the way into Beauclair, into Dora, and then eventually into Eustace and uh, Harris and Griffin. And that'll go all the way through Lake County. From the Apopka Beauclair Canal, 100% of the water leaving Lake Apopka flows through two offline settlement ponds where it's injected with aluminum sulfate. The alum binds with the phosphorus and settles to the bottom as flock. An automated dredge then removes the cakey flock and dewaters it in a centrifuge. The harmless cake is then removed and further dried. The entire system requires one full-time employee to operate. So the, the property here is really the most logical and cost-effective spot to put the NERF system because it allows uh, water to come in upstream of the lock and dam and go through the system and go out back into the canal downstream of the lock and dam. So you don't need pumps, it's just a gravity-driven system and uh, it saves tremendous amount of money on pumping costs. In operation since March 2009, the NERF treatment has markedly tilted the equation back in nature's favor. I am the Water Resources Program Manager, and uh, we are on the apopka Beauclair Canal. The macroinvertebrates are small animals that do not have backbones, uh, and they are a very primary food source for larger vertebrates and other animals that live on the water. The macroinvertebrates are a good indicator of water quality because only certain species will survive in, in poor water quality and certain species only survive in good water quality. So you can tell by the species that are present whether you have polluted or clean water. The hope is that over the long term we'll see improvements to all the invertebrates as well as animal species downstream of the facility down into the rest of the Harris Chain of Lakes and down the Ocklawaha River. We already see more fish downstream. Now we just need to actually sample and, and compare those results. But good biology also means good economics for tourism as well as business that might locate in Lake County. You can understand the quality of life pretty simply. There's the fishing, there's the recreation, there's the, the, the topography that's here with the rolling hills in Lake County, those types of things. All that's understood as far as quality of life, water sports, et cetera. It's financially sound as well. I mean, it's very, very, very important to maintain that, not only just from a tax revenue basis, but also for quality of life and for business attraction, business retention, and all these other things that are economic impactors and drivers. Beyond enhancing water quality and economics, the NERF facility also serves as an outdoor classroom for students who get to see science in action. The high school students of Lake County will be coming out here to the NERF um, project to learn about how environmentally NERF is working to change the water coming out of Lake Apopka as it goes into Lake Beauclair. The Sunshine State standards for both life science, chemical science, physical science, and earth-based science all are covered out here at this facility. The students enjoyed it so much because they're doing what we call authentic science work. I live on the lake because water is so peaceful. And if you get out there, you're boating on it or just sitting on the dock or just, just looking out across the lake and, and seeing the wildlife, seeing the, the eagles, and they're all fishing. And, and this is going to do nothing but help them fish because they'll be able to see the fish and, and be able to survive. The tourist aspects of it is immeasurable. We need to do this for nature. I mean, we're the ones that, that polluted it, and so we should be the ones to straighten it up.